Hello and welcome to another episode of Google Sheets learning series. In this episode we will discuss what is the difference between Google Sheets formulas and functions. To follow along with me make sure you click on the link in the video description that will allow you to make a copy of this file on your Google Drive to practice along with me. Let's begin. What is the exact difference between function and a formula? Mostly these are confusing terms, function, formula, formula, function. People use it interchangeably. Most of us believe that they are almost same, but no, there is a thin line. Formula is a combination of mathematical operators that you use along with the functions or just the mathematical operators to perform certain operations in Google Sheets. Whereas function is something that is already cooked for you. That is, for example, the average function, the sum function, time function. There are plenty of functions provided by Google for you to use and do your calculations inside Google Sheets. So functions are already built in and they have certain syntax and they take parameters and all that kind of fancy stuff to do the calculation. Whereas formula is something you build either with a combination of functions using the operators in between or just the operators. For example, if I have to do the average of this set of numbers using a formula, I will have to hard code a formula. How would I do that? I'll simply select this cell and start typing in my formula. That's the formula. I will have to type the reference for each and every cell in that range. Add them up and divide by the number of cells in that range. That is total nine. Then I press enter. That will give me the average of that series. Whereas if I have to do that using function, it's pretty simple. I simply type in equal to and type in average function. Google is already giving me a suggestion whether I would like to go for that. No, uh, it's also selecting A2. So I don't want that. I will simply use the keyboard down arrow key, select the average function. As soon as it is in focus, I will press the tab key on the keyboard to complete it. Then I will select this series of numbers, close the bracket and press enter. That's the average using the function. Now they have too many decimal points. You can decrease the decimal points by simply clicking on that little button which says decrease decimal points. Okay, I am going to decrease it to two places. Okay, now what is the catch? Look closely. If I remove one number from this series, there is a change in the calculation. But if I do the same thing, the same number, if I remove it from this series, there is a difference between the total. Because this is a hard coded formula, it is still dividing the series with 9. Whereas this one is smartly ignoring that one blank cell and dividing the entire total with just 8. That is the major difference or call it a minor difference between formula and a function in Google Sheets. You can go to do it sheet and practice along. Practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the more you will retain. For any questions, feel free to drop a line in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer that. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell icon to receive updates from my channel. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Until next time.